side of life for him. He's a Trump person. He's a womanizer. He has been carried this in because naturally it is the character of his flesh. Something that, it, that is going to be with him forever. But there's only one that can tell that uh, character of sin or that nature of sin to go down and sleep. When Paul said, when Christ enters you, you are dead in sin because Christ is in you. So sin can only be Italized not to work anymore when Christ is in. So the moment Christ is in your life, sin no more has any power to overcome or rule you or master. Amen. So this is the whole nature of life. And this is the meaning why I want to say about oh yes, oh yes. Within his knowledge, that you know, within his knowledge, he knows himself very well, what is capable of all his weakness. But then on the other side, Jesus said, I have given you a free gift. I have forgiven your sin. You are a free person. So he brought him over. And when he was in this sight, he can still remember his own ways and the things that he normally does. This was the condition of Peter once. God called Peter. And when he was on his sight, Christ reminded him before, the Lord was not there to be the Lord of Peter. But now the Lord has become the Lord of Peter. And the Lord reminded Peter again, now I told you on this side. And he reminded Peter, but Peter, you must know that you will do sin again. Even on this side. And he told Peter, Peter, you're going to, what do you call that? You're going to deny me. You know, to deny the only Savior that is your hope, that is the biggest sin. You're going to deny me again. Now the Lord is talking to Peter, reminding Peter, okay, this is your past, I've forgiven you. But now this is your present, you're about to do something again on this present time, and I also know your future. Now he becomes the Lord of your life. So everything you already done, and the things that you're about to mistakenly done today, you must not disrespect the presence of him that he becomes your Lord. Every week the things you have done today, not because you intended to do it, but because you are too weak, you must respect that Christ is your Lord on this side. Amen. 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 If you are here tonight, you already received receive Jesus Christ to be your Lord and your Savior. Don't even think once that you still have to deal with yourself while Jesus becomes your Lord. Because on this side, I'm alone. I deal with all my issues. I find my own way out. I fight with my own strength. So whoever wants to point at me, I tell them, I don't care. But this I know. Somebody is dealing with your past, your presence, and your future. That is the meaning of O S A S. When he has given you the free gift, it does not mean that he does not know you. Sometimes we did, we, we said to ourselves, why does God choose me? Does he even know? I think he's wrong. No, he knows exactly your weakness. When he calls you on this side, that means he's going to deal with you. He's going to handle everything about you. That's why it says, when you see him, if you confess him, <coughs> who is with you? Stop trying to take over the position of the Lord when you are wrong on this side. Be still and let him continue to be the Lord. Today, your past, your presence. <coughs>